Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Candace will probably be out here in just a bit. Uh, it is Thursday night and I'm gonna try to go to some garage sales tomorrow morning. Weather has been a real pain in the you know what lately. I know a lot of y'all, depending on where you live, are having like extreme drought or maybe even historical drought. But around here, it has been raining at least some amount every single day it seems like for a couple of months now it, i mean maybe one day in the past couple of months but look here is our here's our 10 day forecast <laughs> it's every single freaking day there's a chance of rain i'm getting sick of it but we're gonna try we're gonna see what we can go get into tomorrow candace is gonna plan what she can maybe there will be some indoor stuff uh, or uh, actual under garage stuff. Most people will choose not to have sales though. But uh, I'm out here pulling some orders tonight just to kind of get ahead of things in case we do go out in the morning. So uh, let's go ahead and pull a few. I think we got like eight orders in uh, today since the last time we pulled. Okay, let's go. Two Bravo, we sold a, uh, a binder, which we've been selling a lot of these things. Oh, it's up here. This one must not be worth quite as much as some of the other ones we sold. Oh wait, it's actually right here. Ah, probably because it has that little piece of plastic torn right there. And it's not a collector binder, it's a mead, like a school binder. So anyway, this sold for $10.49 plus shipping on top. I think we got that at a garage sale, I'm pretty sure. And we wouldn't have paid much, a dollar or maybe less okay this one might be a little challenging yeah it won't be too bad let's see if i can do it and hold the camera so that is just an empty box for my eco pro disc resurfacer in case i ever have to send it back for some whatever reason or if i sell it one day or something i just hang on to that box because it's it's perfect and it's a real sturdy box just in case I need it. Uh, we did sell a set of these glasses. Mm, here we go. We've got, I believe we have two more sets. They should all be the same. I'll, I'll look, I'll take a look at them, of course, before I ship them. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And according to the listing, we have two available. So yeah, that is two more sets. These are basically like new old stock glasses. And I, this is the second set I think we've sold. This is some stuff I got from my guy quite a while back. And I need to take it out of this container now because uh, it's taking up more room than it really needs to at this point. But yeah, that was a really good sale. 30, $35 basically, plus shipping on top for those. And I did go ahead and unwrap them just to just to check them out. And yeah, they, they look great. These are basically like new old stock from the 70s or 80s. Cause that is a that's an 80s looking logo for sure. They haven't and that's that look that logo looks even older. But yeah. Yeah, those are actually really cool. I, I'll be shocked if we still have the rest of those after fourth quarter's over. CC10. Boop. Okay. This is a bear. The Super Bowl 36 bear. This was the uh, Super Bowl that's played in New Orleans between the Patriots and the Rams. I uh, talked about that just the other day. This Brady's and... Uh, the Patriots first Super Bowl win I guess uh, no that's not their first Super Bowl win that's Brady's first win because they won or did no they lost they lost before I'm trying to remember but yeah I think Favre beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl right Parcells was the coach maybe I don't know anyway this sold for $24.99 plus shipping on top I did stick a note to it about address because the buyer who has bought from me uh, several times before, quite a few times, um, they needed it sent to a different address. So I will do that, but I, I wanted to pull it on camera 
but I also want had to make damn sure I didn't forget about that different address so I won't forget all right moving on pocket 105 we have one of these pocket shrines this guy sold for $18.74 St. Francis of Assisi and Smalls drawer this is something I just listed today I actually have another one I'll be listing tomorrow it's in not quite as good a condition but it does work it's over there uh, I have it charging overnight just to get a full charge for whenever I test it tomorrow this is a Nintendo DSi with a charge cable no stylus good condition sold it for $39.99 plus shipping on top all right we have a couple of hats on this order one of them is oh it's actually right there I see it one of them is this Atlanta MLB postseason 2013 hat and the other hat I think I got to go under here let me go get this uh container all right dig around for a minute but here's the other hat that sold this Budweiser Dale Earnhardt Jr hat uh this sold I don't know I don't know what they each sold for on that screen I can't tell but together they each sold for just under $21 plus shipping on top moving right along dnd &D. this made me smile these are some cards we got uh for a good deal i don't remember what the deal was we got them at a garage sale had to be like a dollar or two uh and it turns out these cards brand new in these collectible tins you can get 25 dollars for we've sold two of these now we sold both of the ones we bought all right, going back for another hat. Hat day. It's supposed to be in this box. It's, uh, it's actually this one right here. I don't need to go in there anymore. This is a Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club band with the Apple Records logo there on the side. $17.99 plus shipping on top for that. That's a cool hat. And one more thing. Smalls drawer. One more thing for tonight anyways. I might be pulling some more tomorrow. At least I hope. I hope I'm pulling some more tomorrow. Here we go. This is a 10 card Batman insert card set of some sort. In action. Insert card set. Sold for $14.99 plus shipping on top. So this is everything that's sold uh, since... I don't know. I guess this is everything that's sold in about the last uh, 10 hours or so. So it's been it's actually been a pretty solid day because we can usually expect to get a few more things later tonight it's currently nine o'clock nine o'clock at night uh we'll probably get a few more tonight well i'm hopefully this is a plan before i go to bed and then overnight hopefully we'll sell a couple more things so the goal is to have four more things going out on the video on this video tomorrow but we'll see all right candace what you find what you find for us you know what you're like you're like that girl danielle you're my Danielle. I don't know what you're talking about. American Pickers. Oh. You know how Danielle always puts them on the stuff? Oh. Right? Is that yeah. what you is that what you're trying to be? Yeah, she's like making all the stuff happen behind the scenes. Right. And she's probably not really doing any of that. It's probably <laughs> all scripted. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they have people calling directly mm -hmm. to the store for that. So, so what you got us on, Danielle? What you put us so, on something good. You know, a typical Louisiana it was raining again tomorrow I did find three sales somewhat nearby that are rain or shine which means they're either under covered patio or indoors. or they don't care if it gets wet <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we're gonna throw on raincoats umbrellas whatever no we're not I don't wear raincoats that's for, for you too manly for a raincoat you damn right I am raincoats are for sissies what do you wear a poncho what is that <laughs> What is that? Is that fancy? Ponchos kind of go out like a. Is that kid. fancy? No, I'm like, not gonna go like do Batman. that. No, I'm not doing that. What are you talking about? You gonna carry an umbrella? No, I'll stay in the truck and let Real you go. Real men get wet. <laughs> Real men are stupid. I'll <laughs> stay in the truck. I'll yeah, stay. In anyway, we have three sales that were hitting early in the morning. Um, they all start at seven, so gonna get. Molly on the bus and hit the road. Yep. Wish us luck.
I uh, actually don't because it's already happened, so I don't wish us luck. You may see us Save come it. back in just a minute with stuff or nothing. Yep. Stay tuned. You don't have to wait, but we do. <laughs> well, good morning, everyone. We're back. There's Candace. Hey, good morning. And uh, we did go to four garage sales. We picked up a few things yep. that we're going to show y'all in just a couple minutes. Yep. And uh, I, we were gone. We were out maybe, what, an hour and a half? yeah something like that maybe not even that long yeah they were all local so we got some interesting stuff i think uh we'll show y'all in just a minute but we do have since we pulled orders last night we have five more orders that came in so i did want to go ahead and pull those real quick and then we'll uh carry on 4c drake's something let's see I think it's this uncharted game drake's fortune i can actually reach all the way through this now yeah this is it this uh game sold for i think five something plus ship then pocket 58 candace listed this off the unlisted shelf yesterday here we go this is a tiny little lsu what is this a lapel pen little sterling silver lapel pin it's stamped 925 on the back this sold for $14.99 plus ship I like to have inventory with nothing but the like a million of these are things this size that would be awesome okay tiger drawer we sold a gi joe fig it's bagged okay this is it right here this guy he sold for $16.49 plus shipping on top. This next sale actually kind of, it kind of shocked me. I was kind of happy about this one because I was feeling kind of, yeah, this thing sold. I was feeling kind of a little bit down about this because uh, I was like, yeah, I shouldn't have bought these. Although this, I probably should have just bought this and left the other cups behind because I bought four total of four cups i think for 14 dollars total well this one sold for 22.49 plus ship which is good but now i just wonder if the other three that i uh <laughs> that i bought will actually sell they may they may not i don't know we'll find out but this one is actually this is cool this came from you can see it came from the Tulane bookstore there and this thing is actually shipping back to Tulane. It's going to an address at Tulane Law School. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. And one more thing for Delta. It's going to be in this box, big box of stuff here. We sold, I bet this is it, because this is big and puffy. And we sold a puffer vest. Yeah, LL Bean, that's it. We sold this puffer vest for, is that in there? Or was it? Yeah, this was in there, okay. We sold this puffer vest here for, um, or no, no, it wasn't in there, just the poster. But anyway, we sold this puffer vest for $39.99 plus ship, and we bought this, this is a really good deal. We bought this a couple months ago at a garage sale for five dollars so that was a great return we don't do a ton of clothes so when we do we try and make sure it's going to be profitable usually they are uh yeah that's everything i'm gonna get this packed and then we'll look at the garage sale stuff i have the other stuff that i pulled last night it's all packed over there i'll get this done this puffer vest was kind of funny to pack I had to smush all the air out of it and then hurry up and stuff it into this padded flat rate before it reinflated again. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I had just like a couple of seconds before it poof up again. And uh, it's so it's so puffy if, if they cut it, like if they just cut it with a, a knife, it is in another poly bag inside of this. But if they cut it with a knife, there's a real good chance they could cut it. But then I did seal this flap with tape. So they're just going to have to be really careful. Like maybe, uh, I don't know. It's, it's going to be hard for them to open. But 
hopefully they'll read this and take extreme care so today's friday um and we did go out to some sales this morning like we said la last night it was like a 70 percent forecast for the rain we woke up it was 20 percent so because of that nobody scheduled garage sales we did manage to hit four so we're going to show you what we found it's all kitchen stuff i think <laughs> no it is huh <laughs> um this is a bag of cookie cutters i bought for three dollars i bought it for these um the vintage metal ones in here the plastic ones i'll probably just toss or donate or whatever um but i'm a lot up these metal ones um probably about 15 to 20 bucks on those and we bought seven griddles <laughs> they're the electric griddles um they're big they're 16 inches long and um we paid five dollars each for them how do you pass that up i mean i know they're not um, super expensive but we can't pass up brand new griddles for five dollars a piece can you yeah i don't think you can if they don't sell everybody's getting a griddle for christmas right there we <laughs> go I ho hopefully we'll sell a few of them because yeah. like i could see like uh, your, your mother your mother would like look at you with such a weird look if we gave her a griddle for christmas i know she'd be like oh thanks she Garage sale fund, huh? we, we we could re, we could make we can make a video of people opening griddles and trying to act surprised. My brother or trying yeah. to act happy. Yeah. Your mom. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Okay, everybody, it's a surprise, but we want y'all to open it all at once, so no, it doesn't. So spoil. we don't spoil it. Yeah. <laughs> that would be funny. Oh, I love it. I was just about to buy myself one. I'm so glad I didn't. Oh. We may end up keeping one for the camper i doubt it right now i use those little um they're like little five dollar single serve pancake griddles they work though they work good but it takes a long time because i can only cook two at a time and it's like three to five minutes per pancake no i don't care your, your time by the time i finish y'all are finished eating and i have to we, eat we by can, myself we're we're okay with that <laughs> i'm like still slaving away and they're done eating slaving away give me a break <laughs> i do like those little griddles because they don't get like they don't heat up the camper so that's what's good about them i, I think you just need another one i think you need one more of those little I guys a little griddle factory yeah a little pancake factory yeah a little griddle little uh griddle farm but i, th I think we could probably get like 20 to 25 a piece it's not a huge um it's not a huge score or anything but it's but, one listing yeah i so ultimately maybe you know once we sell all of them we'll make a hundred bucks yeah for me to spend probably probably all in by the time we list them and and pack them all maybe we got an hour into it yeah and that's being generous that's being very leisurely yeah. about it so so that's what 15 times seven minus the fees. 100 105 minus fees, minus fees yeah. even if we uh, let's not pay the fees on these okay all right let's see what else we got all right all this next stuff was from one sale it was this um house with like these little old ladies selling their stuff and it's all was like stuff that i really dig so we ended up buying quite a bit there um i bought these these are fire king little brownie they're perfect size for baking like brownies or serving like vegetables in them um, i paid two dollars each for that i have two of this pattern and then one with the wheat on it this might even this might even be a lot up kind of situation yeah, huh? we, we might end up bundling those up because there's a uh, six dollars into those three total this is um interesting i've never seen anything like this it looks like like an old console radio or speaker or something it does turn it around and it's a bank there's yeah. a place to put your coins really neat it is cool it's for a local bank i don't i get. i don't even know if that bank's still open or not no no livingston savings and loan association yeah, yeah. That, that might be a hard sell because of the, the clock. what bank it is. Yeah. Although, when we've had vintage bank stuff before, it always seems to sell. It looks Gotta like somebody tried to break into it. Oh, my gosh. Get that's... the money out. What? Yeah. Okay. Um, I picked this up for 50 cents. A little um, Fire King uh, McDonald's mug. I don't know what that's worth. I just thought it was neat. They used to serve coffee in these, huh? At McDonald's. Isn't that crazy? Probably so, huh? Think about it. Isn't that weird? Yeah. To that, think that... we All of our fast food comes with paper and plastic now, and to think that they had real 
Didn't they have like for the hat like the kids? Didn't they have trays like made of like plastic? Or I think whatever, so. For, yeah. Like, the kids' meals. Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. They sure did. I yeah. forgot. They did, and they even had the um, for you back in the day you could actually smoke in mcdonald's and they had the little the, tin ashtrays little tin ashtray. yeah, yeah i remember those very clearly and you get your syrup for your hot cakes and it'd always be hot they had those ashtrays up and through the 90s oh yeah yeah oh yeah that wasn't that long ago yeah this was my favorite find of the day it's um really cool look at that pattern on there i don't know if y'all can see it it's starburst it's starburst and anytime i see pastel starburst i pick it up it's usually big money People are crazy about pastel star, starburst, not the candy. Um, I looked online. Now this picture, I paid ten dollars for everything. The picture is not what came with these glasses. Um, it was actually a juice carafe. Mm -hmm. What brand is that? Does that say? Easy Pour, P O R. So yeah, that does, is not what came with the glasses. Um, the original set. You can get like 150 bucks for it um, if you have the original carafe. So I don't know if I'm going to sell this together or split it up. Like I pulled up on Worth Point. You can kind of see what it originally came with. Look, somebody sold one for 175 Okay, so it, might, it may if it be a case where you sell. Sell them separate. Look, that was 150 Yeah, I think you're going to have to sell those. And, and their glasses look like they're hazy. Look at that. You know what you ought to do, Candace? Mm. You ought to sell those cups so individually for people that re that because look, we have we have, we five. have five, and you're supposed to have six, right? Yeah. Meaning that one of them got broken. Yeah. That's very likely to get those broken, and with that set being worth so much, somebody would probably pay what twenty dollars for a cup. Uh, yeah, probably so. I would if I wanted to complete my set. Right. I th it, I think, it might take a while to move them, but yeah. Um, and, I don't know. And I have no idea about the picture. We it's prob it. That's probably nothing. It's not in great. Like, th there's a little bit of corrosion on that collar. There is, but that I don't it's think not it's. Bad I don't there. think it's corrosion. I think it's dirt. Maybe it'll clean up. Yeah. Well, there is scratches, but um, the graphics are nice and crisp. Yeah. So that's what's good, and it's not broken like. A lot of these old plastic lids and handles and stuff got broken and it's all intact. So we'll see. I, I've never even heard of that. Coronation. Oh. Corpor Easy Pour Corporation. Yeah. We'll yeah. Have to look that okay. Up. I was, at first, I was like, man, am I crazy? You say Coronation on the back of that? <laughs> oh, man. No, I need bifocals. <laughs> um, Pac Man. I found that. Drinking mug. Of course, Lonnie spotted that from 1982. Yeah, I've had True I've vintage. actually sold one of these before. I don't it wasn't for much, maybe ten to fifteen dollars. But uh yeah, the look the graphics are pretty clean on this thing. Like it doesn't have much wear. I like it. Fifty cents for that. This is actually the, she threw this in. She did. She's like yeah. She's like, you can have that. Although we ended up getting fifty cents change back, so that would have made everything easier. I don't yeah, I don't understand. Uh Fire King um blue glass bowl. I don't know what it's worth. I bought it because I I don't ever see these. Like I, they're always white. I don't ever see blue. So I'm hoping for a good surprise with that too. Okay. So, Fun. Yeah. Bunch of vintage stuff. But a bunch of Candace stuff today. I know. Except, well, the griddles, I like, I don't know, whatever. But yeah, uh hey, we got I I'm okay. I mean, like, this is good, I think. Other than that, who knows? Yeah. Those are good. I mean, maybe we make 80 bucks. Mm -hmm. We net 80 on those, maybe. Maybe we, if we get 20 bucks a piece, that would be ridiculous. Maybe even 15. Yeah. Whatever. So, I, I think we got, you know, it was worth going out. Yeah. But I'm really, really hoping. I Although, typically... If it's bad weather Friday, people won't even bother doing sat. A no, lot well, of people. I did see some sales posted for Saturday and Sunday. However, the forecast is bad for tomorrow, so it'll be interesting to see. I told Lonnie whenever we do have like a weekend that's free and clear of rain, like there's probably gonna be a hundred sales. I know. Because everybody's been waiting. So. Which will be awesome because it'll be all spread out. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. We need sales. We need good garage sales, y'all. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> help okay so i just um looked up this picture and i found this one it's the same pattern just um different color scheme um and they got 42 yeah 42 and their condition is cleaner like around here 
but I haven't tried to clean it up, so we'll see what it. You probably have at least thirty bucks here. Oh I yeah. Say. Look, there is corrosion on the inside. Oh, they have corrosion on the inside. I Mine what probably ours. does too. Which it might be worse. Uh, let me see. If I can see that getting light. I mean, it, you can see it. It doesn't look as bad as that, though. Yeah. On the inside. Hopefully, this. I, I I think I could get forty for it because people love the pink. Yeah, that's true. Pink is like in all the vintage dishes and stuff. Pink is like the ultimate color to get. So. So if we can, what about the glasses? Did you look? I those haven't up? decided. I'm gonna see if people have sold them separately. If it's you know best to do that or a lot of if you had six of them i would say sell the six but you don't yeah we'll you know? see i haven't yeah. looked yet okay but yeah that's that's great yeah that was a good that was a good pickup it was worth going out yeah. all right so i kept looking on worth point and i found my exact one just this past january sold for 81 now it is a little cleaner around the rim however it's interesting that they only have one photo they don't show a photo of the other side so what? Well, we don't. A, a lot of times, Worth Point doesn't show all the photos, though. In fairness, are you sure? Something that sometimes they do. They don't. Okay. I I, I feel pretty sure, especially if if they sold that for eighty one. Mm -hmm. There's no way they have one photo. There's no no chance. I think. I know. I, I, that's all. I, I think that's a Worth Point deal. So yeah, so, uh, maybe more than forty. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's a bolo. That's a bolo. Then I would say, huh? Easy pour pictures yeah any of the patterns do well so keep an eye out for those and um it looks like probably if they're in good decent condition minimum 40 huh yeah okay yeah, yeah look out for those okay so we decided we actually listed most of the stuff already that we showed y'all let's start in he, all this stuff right here is the stuff we bought today and i think we still have what what do we we still have yeah, the uh right just starting here yeah. we still have those three casserole things right and that's, that's yeah i think that's it i think that's the only thing yeah. and, and then oh the, oh the cookie cutters yeah like but we listed all the other stuff no, in this. oh in the I bank i feel like remember that movie the jerk uh yeah remember whenever he was leaving and he's getting his stuff and I just need this. And I need this right. chair. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like. <laughs> oh yeah. This and this and this yeah. and this and this. I think so, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, so we wanted to get a few more things on our unlisted shelf because we keep skipping over the same stuff, which we are actually forcing ourselves to list a lot of this stuff too. Yeah. But after a while, it just gets old because like. It's not fun. It's not so we so want. We got some fun stuff. We got we we went to our storage and just got some stuff out of the storage pile. This I'm just going to list it just like it sits. As is. Oh, I'll even include the game with it. I don't mm -hmm. care. I'm not going to test it or anything. This is cool. I don't even remember this. It's, I do. It's a Batman uh, race set. Look yep. at the uh, look. Run, Riddler, run. Holy just... tight squeeze. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like we have the whole thing in there. I don't know if there's any vehicles. That's probably the most expensive part yeah. of the vehicles. This is a box of fodder. <laughs> fodder box. It's like incomplete big, so, well, he's complete. I'm probably gonna end up just um, pulling all the fodder out. I mean, look at that, how random. And doing one, <laughs> doing an auction. Let me see, that's just some legs? Yeah. <laughs> that's so weird. You never know what you're gonna find in a fodder box. I know. <laughs> Yeah. Some interesting things here. There are some rats. Is look, that, a... that looks like the rest of that dude's body. You might have. Oh, look. That might be a build a fig. It might be, huh? That's the thing. The build a fig pieces. You can sometimes just sell the pieces individually. Yeah. Okay. So Got that. that'll keep me busy for a little while. Um, Teddy Ruxpin. He doesn't work. We already know that. Oh, he doesn't. I, yeah, pretty sure. Okay. Um, he does have a cartridge in him. We, uh, we bought that for a couple of bucks at a garage sale, probably like a, a, over a year ago. I don't think I was with you when you got that. We're probably going to just... I was excited to see this since we're venturing into dipping our toe into flatware. This is like, it's got the nice um, chest and look how nice and shiny it is. 
Yeah, no, it's good. Probably sell it just like that. The, it's really pretty flatware. The forks are down below. Yeah, there's um, forks down here and some serving pieces. And I guess Candace is finally going to list her G.I. Joe headquarters. We've had yeah. this. We've had this for quite a while, too. Yeah, I've never opened it up, so I don't know how complete it is, what the actual shape is. Or what it's worth or any of that. It's... Y'all, if y'all been watching this channel for a while, you've probably seen this around before. Yeah. And then, this is one of your little projects you've been kind of avoiding, huh? No, I didn't even know this was in there, actually, because this is all night. It's organized. It's all, it looks like all the same, so I'll probably just do one auction for all of this. Now, is that all Star Wars? This is Star Wars. I see. So, uh, it is organized, so that's good. Yeah, I saw a little, look, there's a little R2-D2. Yeah. Is that R, what's his name? Is that R5-D4? Is that his name? I don't remember. I think that's what I it is. I don't remember. Yeah, so, um. Is this Hero Clicks? Is that what it is? Yeah, Wiz Kids. Wiz Kids. Yep, 2004. This one's 2003. So, yeah, early 2000s Wiz Kids. I'm just going to do one lot, throw them up at auction, see what happens. Some of it's Star Wars, some of it ain't. That's not Star Wars, is No, it? none of this is. Only the stuff in the back. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> then we have... Uh, some fishing reels. Yeah, these are both, like, bad condition. They're going to have to be sold as is. But they are Abu Garcia. Ambassadors. And then this bought a, that. This is a pilot's helmet, huh? Yeah, I got that at a garage sale for five bucks. I don't know why I never listed it. Like, no. basically, all you got to do is take some pictures of it. Yep. And then uh, that's a mag trainer. Yeah, that's a bike trainer. You throw a regular bike on there, and it makes it a stationary bike. Yeah. Yep. You're uh, you tighten this down. And I don't know if there's supposed to be something on this side or not. That's. I'll have to well, look at Well, there's a plug here. I know, but I'm just wondering if something's supposed to go in there. Right. And then, yeah, your front wheel sits your on here. Your front wheel so sits here. Spin. So, to me, it almost... Unless the frame sits... I don't know. I'll yeah. have to look at them and see. Yeah. So, I did bring some video games back with me, too. And I'm not sure if any of this stuff is valuable at all. Because it's, it's going to have to be cleaned... Any of them that I want to sell individually are going to have to be resurfaced. So I'm going to have to try and figure out if any of this is worth messing with or not. Or could you lot it all up? Or I might just lot it all up and say, look, it's in this kind of condition or whatever. South Park Rally. Looks like, I bet that's a decent one. Let's see what kind of condition the disc is in. Yeah, disc is pretty scratched up. It's not horribly scratched. Uh, and like I said, I don't even know if that's a good game or not. I don't know PS1. I don't know video games that well. And I certainly don't know PS1 stuff. Uh, I got a couple of controllers. This is a Wii Motion Plus. This is not. And then we have the Wii Motion Plus attachment thing. Spider-Man alarm clock. Got Super Nintendo, Super NES. That's in real. It's got, <laughs> you always got to love when they have rattling going on. And then somehow i still had four of these sitting around i actually s sold through i had like probably 40 of these at one time and actually sold through all of them so, so leather, i'm gonna list these yeah, they're leather arch supports for yeah leather, leather and metal yeah. yeah they're old from an old drugstore thing so i mean i know i sold them before for like 20 bucks or so a piece so. this is three different kinds here you see that yeah Okay. Yep, try spring, blah, blah, blah. And then you have to make sure that what's in here is actually what's what. supposed to be. Yeah, yeah cause who knows. Hmm. And here's the rest of the stuff. Um, nothing too too special here. We have, we have a stack of comics. And I am going to make... I have these comics. And the reason I got those is that I have more comics here. But a lot of these comics I have multiples of, so I didn't really have the right comics to make a lot with, but now I can get the ones that are different, combine them with that, and I can make up a comic lot. Those always do pretty well. I'll be able to move that pretty easy. And then the last thing are these VHS, and I'm, I'm totally prepared to just donate all these VHS. 
There are some interesting ones the, though. Like the, these three are some Godzillas. Yeah. No, there are. But I just want to. The Jerky Boys. Yeah, I. I we just wanted to make we wanted to bring them back, research them real quick, and make sure you're dropping it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Look, this is a launch promo I know. video. I don't know. Midnight what... Suns launch promo video. Marvel. Yeah, that and that is not like that's like a somebody made that label at their desk. Yeah. Look, let me see it. Look how short that videotape is, and look, it has like mold in it. You see that? Oh, oh wow. Hmm. Yep. That's interesting. I may try and play it and see what's on there. Yeah. But yeah, we've got Godzilla, Johnny Quest. We got some Batman stuff. Yeah, some DC. And then, um, but I here's a Transformers. I really think that this is all gonna be donate shovelware type stuff. But we are gonna make. We'll look them up. Yeah. Just to make sure. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's uh, that's what we're, where we're at. We, gonna supplement our garage sale stuff and unlisted shelf with, some of the stuff from our death pile and hopefully some stuff from tomorrow if we can actually uh find some good yeah, garage sales fingers crossed yep. the rain holds out and there's some sales all right guys we've got an issue i don't normally don't like to air this kind of stuff out publicly but candace did air my mistake out publicly not too long ago about the grapefruit spoons where i sent out instead of one set i sent out three sets by accident and like she publicly humiliated me on a video <laughs> which i'm not going to do to you i won't do that to you Mostly because people will, people will. They like you being the villain, so go ahead and do it. They do. No, I know I'm not going to give them that. <laughs> but look, I just want to point this out. We had a, uh, we had this trunk, which is back, right. It's right there, over my finger. It's over the air conditioner back there. Probably been listed about what two months. Yeah, a couple months. Yeah. It's an Amer big old American Girl trunk. Weighs 20 pounds. It's like 20. Shipping dimensions are going to be like 24, 16, 16. And I we had zero interest in it, like no none. offers or anything. Yeah. So you had a viewer. A mess viewer messaged me just a short while ago and says, should the shipping on this be $99 and something? I'm like, what? <laughs> and I was just, I think I was just talking about that yesterday, how if you're willing to ship UPS or FedEx ground, then you automatically give I almost fell down you automatically give yourself an advantage over those that are like just hitting priority and that's all they know well we were that that person because was that that ebay lister i listed it priority and i i didn't mean to i knew it should right. have been ups yeah i just didn't change it up here just a misclick just yeah. blame, blame it on ebay ebay damn ebay glitches that's why i think most of the ebay I, I know ebay is messed up like don't get me wrong ebay is glitched for sure in all kind of places wait a minute i just changed that and it's back what promoted yeah all right did you saw me do it right i did see ebay see, does yeah, it. ebay did it ebay probably selected the, priority new, new title ebay ebay changes e our listings ebay's destroyed our ebay store <laughs> ebay hates us if there was a problem know. adding or updating promoted listing i'm sure it'd be fine oh now they won't let us take it away okay so ebay yeah blame it on ebay it's not it wasn't candace's I don't fault make mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh we did have another question from a viewer i uh, got a message uh they want to know and i i know nothing about this they want to know who are who do you like on big brother or who are you pulling for or something like without without spoiling anything <sighs> that's a tough one you want to tell me later yeah. Why don't you think about it? Okay. And tell me later. Or tell them later. Yeah. Boy, the the look you I, I wish you I wish she would get that look on her like the way she's thinking about Big Brother <laughs> right now and has that smile, that sly smile. Hmm, oh, there's so much to choose from. I don't know where to go with this. I wish she had that look whenever she'd think about me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to work over there getting your listing position assume your position over there excuse me <laughs> okay this is ridiculous i walk in i had to go to the house to get a memory another memory card i walk in candace is typing out a reply to a message 
Yeah, I don't want to share their username. Okay, the, but the user, the, the viewer that let us know, Candace was replying to them. And look, she wrote, thank you for letting me know. I should have selected UPS instead of USPS. And then whenever she saw me come in, she backed up, she, she like hit delete a few times and she started typing Lonnie. <laughs> so if y'all get, if y'all get a, a message about a mistake or something that, and it says Lonnie, it probably was her. Can I put Lonnie in Canvas? <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah, the royal, the royal we made that I'm mistake. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Okay, you get the final word today, Candace. I, I didn't reveal my big brother pick. Oh, yeah. That's right. Now, granted, I haven't watched Wednesday, so I don't know what's going on since Sunday night. Well, you might make sure you don't read the comments. And, and hey, no spoilers in the comments, y'all. So, I definitely want Jasmine to go home because she just irritates me. Um, but I want Joseph to win because he took up for Latoya. Is that her name? Yeah, I think he's a good guy, so I hope he wins. But he may have gone home, I don't know. Anyway, that's my pick. Y'all have a good night. Bye.